Oh man, what did I just do? Welcome to the channel everybody. Today we're going to talk about an embarrassing moment after we took a tumble on the Yamaha XT250 in the mud. Okay, let's see what's going on back here. This is the pond called Clear Creek Pond. The water puddles everywhere. Yeah, the water level has risen out here. I don't know if it's where it should be, but it was a hell of a lot lower than that the last time I was out here. I'm not going to go through this mud and all this crap. I'm going to go around it. I'm going to stay to the edge. There's a van up there. I wonder how he got to that little island. Uh oh, look at all this. I think I'm going to go around over here. I'm not going to go through all that water. Yeah, it's all mud. Yeah, I know that van didn't get over there. Oh man, what did I just do? <laughs> yeah, I just can't get out from underneath it, man. If you if you could lift from back here and I can get my foot out. Yeah, that's good. I can get it up now. Thanks a lot. You good? Yeah. I saw you over there, and see, I went around here because I didn't want to go through all that mud. And I thought, I wonder how that guy got over there. I Did you? <laughs> I mud, yeah. You right here all along? The last time I was out here was probably July or August. Yeah. That lake was so low. Be safe, man. Okay. Yeah. I'm lucky that guy was here. My foot was caught under here. And there was no way I was getting it out. I don't know how the hell I did that. So let's see. Let's start this bad boy again. So I wonder if there's some kind of a reset on this thing. Okay. The reset is turning it off, getting it back on. Wow. So I know what it's like to go down off road now my trusted XT250. I'm telling you, man, I thought about, oh shit, I'm gonna break my fucking foot again. I can't even tell how I did this. There's no mark or anything, but there I was. I This fucking rock must be what threw me off. I can see how I came through here and hit this fucking rock and it threw me. The little tiny fucking rock is what threw me. I can't believe it. You can see I came down through here over to the cow pie came through here i was talking about that guy up there then i came through here and that fucking rock was enough to throw me down man this clutch feels different than it did before it feels like it's lower when i get home i'm gonna take a closer look at it i'm glad that man was here because if i'd have been out here by myself i would have been screwed well i learned something today about off-roading crash bars and all that stuff are necessary bash plate or a crash bar it keeps the bike up off the ground so that you can get your foot out from underneath because that was my biggest problem my uh leg was caught underneath yeah i just can't get out from underneath it man if you could lift from back here yeah that's good i can get it up now thanks a lot